After a series of rain-soaked weekends, the Queen and Prince Philip were finally able to stroll to church this morning in bright Norfolk sunshine. Looking striking in a deep red coat with matching dress, feathered hat and a ruby-encrusted gold brooch, the Queen, 91, appeared happy to be taking the fresh air, even stopping to pick up several winter-themed bouquets from well-wishers in the crowd. Behind her, the Duke of Edinburgh, who turns 97 later this year, also looked to be on fine form and enjoying the break in the clouds as he entered the grounds of St. Peter and St. Paul's Church in the village of West Newton. After attending St. Mary Magdalene Church on the Sandringham Estate last Sunday, the couple opted to visit St. Peter and St. Paul's Church in West Newton this morning. Scores of royal fans gathered as the Queen and Prince Philip arrived for the traditional Sunday morning service. The pair emerged from their maroon Bentley and stopped a while to greet those who'd made the journey to see them arrive at the service. The Queen, wearing a slick of bright red lipstick, looked delighted to be handed a green cute bouquet as she bypassed the throng of well-wishers. While the crowd reached for their smartphones to capture the moment, a female companion of the Queen stood by her side. As ever, there was a watertight security presence with police officers flanking the royal couple as they strode through the small Norfolk village. The couple have enjoyed their annual extended break in East Anglia since arriving at Sandringham for the festive season back in December. While the Queen and Prince Philip have favoured St Mary Magdalene Church on Sandringham in recent weeks, the royals do visit several local services during their three-month sojourn to Norfolk. St Peter and St Paul's Church is one of several rural churches that fall under Sandringham.